and winding up our tour of the vowels going up the back of the mouth, we end up with the goose vowel, as J.C. Wells calls it, the goose sound. Now, for this one, mostly, in most accents, there's not, there's not a significant shift in it, in that there's usually something that resembles goose. That said, it is the most high back vowel. So it is a close vowel because it's very high. It's almost like it's closed, right? So it's close and it's back and it is rounded. Sometimes you get some reduced rounding for some speakers, usually not significant. There's usually a decent amount of rounding that happens on it. You will uh, very commonly though, get it moving a little bit forward because a lot of people don't use that much resonant space. Goose it starts to get collapsed a bit, so it becomes something more like goose, goose, goose. So it may almost feel like goose, goose, this barred U, which is really taking the U and moving it forward. So I could either write it as that U with a bar through it, which moves it to the central point in the mouth, or I could also think of moving it forward partially in that direction, this being an advanced symbol, meaning moving forward in the mouth. I could also note it by simply saying that it got centralized. There's another diacritic, a couple of dots above that. Um, so basically, it's big time about resonant space. People not having that open resonant space at the back, that lifting of the soft palate, the velum, that lifting of the soft palate, the velum, that's one of those big keys to having a more resonant voice. So you can see some of my other videos about resonance and opening up the low end of your resonance. You can learn about this in the voice book that I have available on accenthelp.com. You can also dig into this through the generic and then phonetics material that I've come out with on Accent Help where you can hear a bit about that resonance and also this vowel and, and various other vowels for pronunciation in relaxed generican or elevated generican or that mid-transatlantic sort of sound. In all of those, there's not a significant shift to this. So again, the main things that shift for speakers is simply some degree of loss of that open back space or that lifted back space, because open would theoretically be lower on the chart, but lifting that soft palate. Otherwise, this vowel remains largely untouched, perhaps moving forward because of that, but mostly recognized as an oo. For more info on a variety of accents for actors, you can check out accenthelp.com. <laughs>